So Oliver, I'm going against you. I know that you're good at leg locks, so I've got a cunning plan. I'm not going to lie flat on my back. I'm going to stay in butterfly guard where I've got the inside line. Good. Therefore, you can't leg lock me, right? Exactly. So this is a very good question because, man, this is a scenario we deal a lot with at the gym. Oh, I'm going against my teammate. He's a good leg locker. I'm going to keep my feet on the inside. Mm -hmm. Okay. One thing that may not seem like a good solution for you guys, but I think helps a lot is I like to offer my opponent something to get something. Okay. Now, this is also, we went into counters, but we didn't go that much into pummeling. So I'm going to go into it right now. And I think we're going to be able to add a speed drill at the end to make sure you guys get really good at leg pummeling from top also. Okay. So he has his heels together close to his butt. Okay. And I don't want to just naively step in the middle because we know he's going to thumb post, scoot back and get the inside position right away. Okay. Now. We saw, in the, we saw in one of the first videos of the single leg X that once he has this, he needs to off balance me in this direction, right? He needs to bring my weight all in that direction and get underneath me. And now, boom, now we're, I'm caught defending layer number two. So instead of having to defend from here, what you guys can do, you can defend from one step before and then that will open up entries for you, okay? So we're here. I'm just gonna offer him the inside position. Now, I know he wants to lean back in that direction. So before he does that, I'm gonna call it tight and I'm gonna just step in that direction right here. So he's gonna keep his knee to his chest here. Now, we're posting here so he doesn't elevate me. Now look, he has, there you go. Now, here, he has both legs on the inside, but as you guys can see here, don't move. As you guys can see now, my knee is on the inside here. This acts as a way to stuff his hip so he cannot turn to the other side. So I started with inside position at the knee, which we saw also is very important. From here, I'm gonna post and the next step is I wanna pummel my foot to the inside. You see how my right foot is to the outside? I step on his own shin and I pummel my foot to the inside right here. From here, we're gonna go all the way to the other side. As I start to go to the other side, I'm going to fake the knee cut, stuff the knee, back step. Right there. That's one of my main, main moves right there. So, again, I'm offering Kesting inside position. Here, he gets the inside, and I take it in the other direction. This is why I like to offer the foot, actually, because when I look the level change, my knee is on the inside. You see that? Knee to chest. My knee is to the inside, so all I need to do is look with this foot. I back heel, step, pummel. Now I have the inside. I can look the knee cut, cross step, and I look the back step right away. See that? So this is a good way for you guys to offer something in order to get something even better, right? Now, this skill you can turn it into a drill that we're going to see later.